adaptations to potentially come in and obviously Warrior to try and get them off, get them off guard. But then well managed to find the first kill. Rakan gets the trade onto Boros, but well rushes in for a little bit more. Managing to find two kills and War 2k still managing to pick himself up two kills because he got booted himself onto the window, doing so massive amounts of damage. Managing to take himself two kill ninja. If he jumps out, there's gonna be a double swing coming in. I feel like for Monte, not gonna happen as Joel is still conscious about peeking, running away. And Adam has a smoke to play it with, has a smoke to try and get it onto, but Joel picks up the kill and just like Inside that. Inside of connector, gonna... BTN is still waiting. Another smoke comes in, but in the meantime, Red Star peeks out onto this B site, managing to find one if he takes down Rush. A jump spotting Cemente, he's gonna spot players out onto the ramp. ATN managed to find one. There's still a player coming out from under, but MQQ managed to take him down. This wreck had destroyed, BTN falling down as well. Cemente has spotted them out. He's still on CT, still trying to hold on to the site. The advantage isn't there for the side of Nexus. The push comes in. Down to 50 HP he goes. He pushes in for more, but his bullets run out. But the final two bullets do the job. It's all in the hands of the MQQ. A 1v2 clutch. Has the bomb planted, but doesn't get the second kill. Just one. Does he cement? Knows that things are going to be quite tough. But BTN just swings out. Cello with the flash and... BTM with three kills himself, well played, and just like that, Nexus scatters a flawless round on somebody else. Boros, gonna be challenged, finding himself the kill, Raka finds one, Zello helps him out, on the back of the side, down to low HP. Players are dropping down, players are scattering around him, but BTN is good for two, holding on to the B side once again, he can play connector, he can play on B, it helps it out. Nexus Gaming might just have what it takes to win themselves for, and that's exactly going to be what happens. Actually, thought it was going to be a lot more in the favor of Monte here. But apparently, BTN just holds his line. Look at those lick shots in the bottom. He holds A, he holds B. He does it all. Red Star. Good first kill onto Raka. Was the B apps jumper. BTN, who's swinging out, window, he can find one, picks up a second, BTN going huge once again, three kills and even a fourth, oh my goodness, swinging out of a window and once again just going absolutely berserk and it is gonna be the fifth round one. Flash comes in, Samantha is gonna find the first, will pick up the second, tries to go for a third, but obviously the peak. Jump over the angle, good shots onto Raka. Taking down the MQQ, a second shot will also rain through. The MQQ to fall down. Shots are coming in, BTN is taken away. And just like that, it's all in the hands of Waro. He's left in a 1v3. Left to be alone, Nate comes in, down to 7 HP he goes. He doesn't have any armor, so the Nades and the bullets do more damage, but he's down to 1 HP nonetheless, falling down. Raka taking him away. Two plays Looking great, but right now, Power of Nexus game and is overrunning them quite a bit. BTN on 16 kills or 14 kills. Maybe going for a 16th now. Good first kill coming in on top of Cello. But Joel's already taken so much control into connector. But there's many places running up mid. Adam, seeing one of them running his way all the way up. And BTN finishing the final two players off. I said at 16 with Ethereum right now. So go ahead and check it out. Fitskits.com is your place potentially. Then QQ managing to find the first kill. 5v4 secured. Advantage taken by the Monte side and Boros entries into the side himself. Cello with double man advantage for Monte. Boros peeks out. Cello finds himself that kill. And a 4v3. Have the advantage planting that bomb down. Cello moving in, but then QQ obviously there to hold him onto. Finds that kill. 4v2 has been taken. Joel picks up the kill onto Raka. This might actually be the first round that Monte takes in a while. I think the first two rounds went their way. He knows that they are in CT spawn, and now Monte knows where the final player is too. But three Samantha players feels like making their way over towards this B site. BTN is going to be spraying and praying, taking down Boros during the 5v4. Red Star finds Adam. A 4v4 to be picked up. Red Star Ooh, holding for the angle. BTN walks into him. He manages to take down Red Star still. Having a quite nice advantage to play with. There goes Cemente. The A site, Joel picks him up. A 3v3 has been taken, then QQ just runs out and works out for him. only a possibility. Bro, holding on, Cello peeks in, finds himself his own death, and Waro picks up a second kill. So good with the off, and Mirage, so many uh, 
so many nice nade combos that you can do. Woro, good first kill, taking down Salodar instantly, but he's gonna fall down. Red Star moving out onto this B site, managing to take two kills, and Vitian even picks up a third himself. Boros is going to be the final player left on this A side, falling down. Joel is still trying to get back into it. But it looks like Nexus has just won themselves the hall. Probably has been able to do it. And there goes Joel as well. Great shot from Adam coming in. A little bit of a technical pass coming in right now. Due to a mic issue coming in. So, just going to wait for that and we just roll some highlights. Right here of the last round. Window, Raka's up close. Just waiting. Raka is going to be the one to take down Waro. There was a gap in the smoke plane. Nice one way to be secured. And Raka managed to pick up three. Still trades are coming in. Doesn't Red start to jump into window. But this is, again, a great round coming in for the Nexus gaming side. Nine take. Still shouldn't be too big of a difficulty. But at the same time. Nexus wins the pistol, then I feel like Nexus uh, could just be the ones to secure. Excello picks up two. And Nexus, they still have such an advantage to play the match. Jots are coming in, and Boros finds himself a second. Bomb needs to go down, but those were some good two kills from Boros. Doubling his kills in this game. With those beautiful two headshots still. The one who tries to peek out of CT, and Boros continues on going. Still a player coming out of ramp. Boro manages to take down Beta Yan, and now they know that Raka needs to be coming some sort of behind. Oh, Raka. Seeing Boro cross, getting that kill. Now they know where he is. Bomb gets deployed onto this B side, it looks like. Boro still cutting up the rotation, or he tries to. Knows where Raka is, takes him down, and just like that, it's going to be the fusion. There we go. Run back into the side, comes in, Red Star. Falling back onto shore, but Woro managed to find the first kill. 5v4 taken. The site has been secured as Adam runs in. He's going to manage to find one kill. Keeps on going, but there's still many players jumping into kitchen. They're taking control. Running in like absolute ace. Make anything work. Shots are coming in. Then QQ. Two more players to find, but Red Star's down to 5 HP. Not a lot of time remaining. The round might not be so great here performing day. Next map. He's gonna be doesn't do so. Doesn't find it. Wardo does so. Takes down Recha inside of the apartments. Great shots are coming in. No one manages to. Joel picks up one, picks up a second, and it's all in the hands of Cello now. It's gonna be no scoping one down. Secures the 1v3. Vision of it. Hello swings out. Good kill taken on top of Wado. That leaves him Zello and the brings them the victory. Otello needs to check for jungle. Swings out, but then QQ holds his line. Takes him down and been able to find himself that shot. Tried to do it, but Wados takes down Adam instead. Here's the 5v4. Nice nade on the top mid. The spray comes in. Joel answers with two. 11. He's going to be the one to try and take down Joel up short. Gets another headshot. Well done there by Rekha. That is one more taken for him. I saw many people were looking at the headshots of Rekha. That's one more for you. Manta managed to find one, but Monta is going to be securing himself. Might actually be looking pretty, pretty sharp. Then QQ letting Rekha pass. Finds the first. Tries to find a second, but doesn't do so. Adams. Doesn't find himself anything. So then, a lot of pain. The Boros a one for one trade. Just a 3v3 remaining. Adams. The one holding from the firebox. Molly comes in, causing him to have to swing out, but he knows he can stay alive. Molotov will touch him and take him down. Wodo gets himself that frag, and it's gonna be a 2v2. Wodo spots out the op, spots out the barrel. War with the kill. It's all in the ends of Semente now. And they're securing one. Needs to find Joel too. But Joel is coming up on the stairs. Oh, that timing is horrible. But with that, double digits taken. Start running back on the backside. Here's some steps from Racker coming in. He's going to be the one falling. Oh, what a 
massacre on the B site. Great kills coming in all over the place, and Monte is going to get back Monte to Monte already. This is a very, very good CT side so far. Full blind is Adams, but Cello gets a trade onto them QQ here because then you are in a situation like this. Boros trying to clear the angle, but doesn't clear Semente. Rocker gets a kill on the other side of the map, and Red Star drops down. Wado gets swung. Semente picks him up, and that leaves just Red Star remaining in a 1v3. Trying to go for it there, I think. Doesn't have a kit, so the plan shouldn't come in, but Rocker managed to take him down with the headshot as well. That's a great flash. Boros is able to dodge it, but he's still trying to hold on to it. Rekka takes him out. That's Boros falling down. Take themselves. Smoke Molotov come in. Joel managed to find one. 4v4 taken. Cello gets a shot in with his AWP, but Joel still finding back on the back of the side. Needs to reload. Needs to try and stay alive, but the spray comes in, or... The reload is there, and it's all in the hands of Cello now. Left alone, walking his way up the short. Missing the shot, missing a chance, and then QQ is able to take him down. At first, now it definitely does. Flash are coming in. Maybe someone is going to get caught in the act, and Joel gets caught in the act, causing Red Star to have to fall back. Are waiting on the back of the side. Cello will be pushed up from behind, but Red Star rushes in, able to take one. 4v3 taken, the kills are coming in, and Monte takes themselves 14. They are two rounds away from winning the game. Rocha is going to be the one trying to peek out, but Waro gets the shot in. This map making a huge joke as it was 13 to 5, and now it's 14 to 14, potentially 15 to 14. Oh no, BTN moving away, might get caught in the act, but doesn't, as Boros with us. Boros whiffs massively, causing him to still be alive, but who, the one who doesn't miss is them QQ. He's on the side, down to 1 HP, Cello goes, but them QQ miss, finish him off, and it's all in the hands of BTN misses. The players are still alive, BTN missing the second spray too, and now it's two bullets remaining, one. He reloads his AK, full magazine again, and Red Star finds the final kill, 15 to 14. Going back into underpass, Joel swings, gets the kill, takes down Adams. That's the first kill. Four more. To it definitely doesn't jump into window herd, and Boros kills Rakka. Three more to go, and he's not gonna stop with just one here. I feel like holding on to BTS, and this looks to be over. Monte just did it. They pick up Mirage, and that might mean that we're gonna go towards Nuke. Yes, we are. 16 14, and what a comeback. Win. We're gonna jump into the game. We're gonna go into Nuke, and the game has started. The CT side for Monte, where they are gonna be starting on, on a Nuke. If they would be managing to win this, they are gonna be going through, and they will be the ones securing themselves that first play in, or the first Swiss stage spot. That's obviously where they're fighting for. Kills are all coming in, and Monte picks themselves up the round. Well done. Retake. First playing retake B. The side that you can play a retake on, but. Cello getting that kill onto Boris, it's making things a whole lot harder. Adam, are you gonna plant it? He cannot plant the bomb, it's bugged for some way. Bomb is gonna go down now. That's by was... Adam. I'm gonna see the, uh, the tech pass coming in. Boss will be over. Well, is gonna take Ooh, very fast. They're taking the lobby control and managing to take three kills. Still gonna be Red Star waiting for him. Oh, this is huge. Adam, if he drops down, he's gonna be the one shot. Flashback coming in into main. Adam, he's gonna be taken down from behind as Red Star swings and does manage to fight Boro himself. With the off on his back and Rocker is running in towards the A side, but he will be dealt with by them QQ. A fast hold, very, very fast one. Joel picks up one more kill, rush in to clear Cello, but it's gonna be the one. Take Joel down, and this is a fast round of 5-1 to one in the favor of Monte. You're gonna see the push coming in onto the A side. Rekka is gonna be the one to try and push out first. Gets the first one as well. Trades are all left and right, and just like that, Nexus gets the oh, side. Picked up by the side of Nexus Gaming. Quite well done. Where he might be, but Boros has to step up massively. That Molly touching him in the slightest, but he's still gonna try to fight back, and he's able to find one. But will be traded out. Red Star gets the trade. Let's rock Hold up. on to the side. Flash coming in. 
MQQ falling down. Raka actually able to find himself the first there with his AK. He was 2 HP and he still managed to do it. Cement holds the line and just like that, Nexus managed to pick themselves up their third round. And it's a 6-3 to three half already, so it is getting better and better as time goes on. And just like that, Nexus bomb goes off. The third round has been secured. It's already be pretty, pretty tough to hold on to it, Boros. The one who gets the first needs to find a second if he wants to make it competitive. And yes, he does. A 4v3. Then QQ taking lobby where Samantha just drops down. Unfortunate. Shadow gets the bomb planted. And 4v2. Shadow waiting. Adam will be shut down. And Red Star. Oh, Shadow is up close, but he takes two. Joel is left alone. Shadow might be doing it, but he doesn't do so. It was so unfortunate for Red Star. Such a... Rocha lining up the smokes together with his mate, Boro, able to pick up one, and it's a 5v4 without even a single player down towards that B side yet. They hear a lot of steps, Boro has to step up, picks up another one, falls back to B. There's already them QQ in the fence, goes back up, and his results into a 5v2. Boro swinging out once again, keeps on going. It's all in the hands of Rocha, has the op in his back, he needs to find some kills, but Boro gates himself a fourth. What a round. There's an M4 taking some control. Joel tries to do it. Boros does manage to find the first. And Joel sprays for a second. Gets that kill. And the bomb is dropped. Boros has control. Knows that there's no one inside the lobby other than Cello who's going to be falling away. Then QQ with one. But Cello gets two on his own. 15. 19 HP remaining. And it's all in the hands of Adam. Right no. For now, that hasn't been the case. Adam takes down Wardo. Knows where Joel is approximately. Okay. But we all know the drill. Shots are coming in, but Adam gets the headshot and he needed that. He found the krill. OBTM is loading out, lining up Util. This might actually be the kill. The second flash couldn't even be thrown. And the bomb is dropped. Oh, that's the bomb, I think. Yes, it is. The bomb is on top of T roof. And Joel goes huge with three. How does BTN have the bomb on his back? Headshot comes in. Cello is up for a big, big task. But the task stopped with just one kill. And that's a 10 to the plate. Same for Joel. This is why we know Monty again. Joel. The front Woro helping him out and walk out of the smoke himself. Gets out, walks his way into secret, managing to find one kill. Rekha gets destroyed, and that's a 4v2 taken. Bomb not able to do it. Choji jump over will come in. Woro gets the shot. He needs to find BTN too. BTN on the side. Woro takes a turn, and that's gonna be a quite a nice half take. Who knows what they can do right now. Push comes in, Boros up close, but BTN is able to strike with the kill. Wings out, does fall down. Cement is still straggling back himself, and this is just a slaughter in terms of kills. Every single kill found, but... Oh, this kill from Red Star is quite important. Cello is holding behind the box, and Cello swings out. Quite whenever the glass was broken. Causing Cello to pick him on, so... Nexus just went for the retake. Up high. Going for the heaven play. Are there any players waiting for him? No, they're not. Okay, this is the defuse coming in. Pros don't fake, I guess. Worse than it is the Nexus one. Then the Nexus one is. But who knows what will happen. Cement is getting the off angle onto Joel. Yes, last game. Oh, so strong. Now. It's absolutely not. Fifth kill secured, so he's striking back a little bit. Swing comes back out. BTN, two kills on his back, and Wado is still with his scout plane. Swing comes in. Wado gets taken down, and just like that, it's going to be the sixth round. So we'll just take down BTN there, and he will possibly win the round. Needs to not turn around, and. Timing there a little bit. BTN is able to secure himself already down. BTN just holding. Red Star running in. Cello picks up one. They need to find two players. And it's a good crossfire from Nexus. The crossfire working out. And it's all in the hands of them. QQ will be heard running up over towards this ramp area. And them QQ is going to be the one seeing Adam swing. Falling down. And that's the eighth round taken for the next. Molly gets thrown into main to run into the side. Boros not getting the entry, falls down. Cemento is able to take himself that kill. Wado gets spotted inside of main, falls down. Cemento with two. The 
minutes. It's just a 2v5 remaining. Raka keeps on spraying. Does a lot of damage to Red Star and a lot of damage to Joel. That's a double yeah. digit number. One on top of Hut. Need to hold this line, but Cello does so. Points one, picks up a second. Red Star still the sitting duck. And okay, Cello. Three kills. That's a little bit too much, isn't it? Okay, next is 11 to 11. We're getting back, and ooh, this is them QQ just aiming at the heads of Ragga through the smoke. He also knows that it's gonna be quite tough to get that kill. Raka picks it up. That's enough. Them QQ trying to swing onto Ragga, but he takes him down. With the headshot securing himself that frag, and it's a 4v4. Xello on the B side, pushing up close, and he's gonna stop with that one kill once more. Yeah, still holding in Tetris. Auto flashing for. They shall fake to come in. There goes Samantha, but BTN is still holding in Tetris. Is there any peak from Joel coming in? Can he potentially take him down? Needs to be careful about Tetris. Always a corner. You need to check. It's always a corner. You gotta see. And they do check it, but Joel is left in a 1v2 because of it. 20 seconds left using the one down Cello. No, it doesn't. He's still down to 32. Under him is Raka playing. And just like that, it's Nexus Gaming taking the advantage. He decides to come in. Cello is so close with his off playing. Cello managed to pick up one, but the spray comes in. Almost Red Star is able to take him down, but after some fighting, BTN shows up, tries to help his mate, but it cost him his life. Cello is away. That works, I guess, as kills are coming in, and both Raka and Cement is able to take themselves some kills with them. It's still Raka holding his line. Knows that Joel might be up close. Smoke in the doorway. Raka swinging. Falls to Joel. 2v3. Vantage still there for the side of Nexus, but maybe not quite as you will. Picks up two kills. Rounds that Nexus takes in a or that Monta takes in a while. They do so. Nine Running rounds into the a... side. It might be from Monty. He has taken some control, but Rekka is still playing. Gets himself that frag. It's gonna burn alive. The CT's holding their line, but at the same time, the T side fighting back. No, they aren't. Nexus securing sure. his more back up. Adam is still alone. On top of the side. There's a player called Cello has to play, has played Billy there earlier, so they expect it. They find the kill. And Monty takes over the site. Getting that bomb planted. This is an important round. They have to win, but Warder with whiffs onto Samantha, causing him to fall down. Then QQ still with a kill. That's very, very important right. because swing back comes out. Time ticking down. Monty winning themselves this round. The Samantha is left in a 1v3. Joel with the op. Getting him down. That's a 13. Shots are coming in. Cello manages is trying to exploit it. Cello has to hit his op shots. He doesn't do so. That's a 4v4 take in the top frag out. The money comes in, causing Adam to have to swing, but he's still alive. The trade frag potentially there, but Adam, he's gonna fall down. 3v3 take. to see chances. See huge chances in this game. Watto picks up that kill. Red Star playing behind the smoke. He knows players might be up close. Rekha's in the open, falling down to Boros. And this is Samantha, less than a 1v3. The P comes in, and Nexus Gaming might be choking. Goes, so if Monty wins this round, which they might, then Nexus has to ego for the final buy, or at least have a fourth by Joel. Shooting through the wall. Boros takes him down. Good straight frag. And on the top of the side, there's still Adam playing. He falls down. Oh no, a 4v2. BTN. Waiting inside of main, falls down, Boros takes him down, and Xello is left. For Monty coming in. Oh, there goes Xello, and he falls down. No off saved. Nexus. Boros is going to be getting nated down, but he finds the entry. He needs to find one more. Takes down Adams. Oh, Monty. He should be the ones taking it. A 5v2. Nexus falling down, and we have ourselves a 2 0 win. Yes, we do. Cemented a 1v2, a 1v5. All on his lonesome, and he falls down. Monty winning two games.